Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I love handbags, hence why we're doing a handbag comparison today. I also do handbag reviews and unboxing, so if you're interested in that, definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. I also love travel fashion and luxury, so those will be all sprinkled into this channel, so I hope to see you back. Today's video is a review. This is a requested video, but it's a review of my medium and small Chanel Classic Flap. Now, if you've been following the Chanel Classic Flaps, it's been skyrocketing in price. In fact, most of their items are also increasing in price as well. And it's been kind of stressful because if you've been trying to get your hands on a Classic Flap or a Chanel handbag, you'll know that it's just hard to catch up to. Every time you're gonna buy, it increases in price. So with the increasing prices, I'm hoping to compare these two sizes here and possibly different colors and also different leather types to help you figure out what exactly you would want in your next handbag. Hopefully that'll make it easier to choose because they are getting very pricey. Now the good news about the price increases is if you already have a Chanel handbag, you'll know that it has increased in price quite a bit as well. So that if you were to ever resell it, you can get your money back for sure, assuming you keep it in good condition and everything. But yeah, that's a one plus side, but of course you'd need to be able to get one first. So anyway, thank you for everyone who submitted questions. Uh, I will try to cover all of it I can in this video, but if for some reason I don't, do leave your additional questions in the comments below and I'll try to answer it. So just a background, the Chanel Classic Flap is one of their iconic styles. It's been around since Karl Lagerfeld's time. Um, it's actually been updated from the reissue, which is a totally different bag, which I can cover at a di in a different video. In terms of this style, it has a very classic look, I would say. It has the CC turn lock here. It opens up double flap right here. It also has this gorgeous chain, leather chain. And um, yeah, it just, it's a quilted look. Although they also do have chevron fit, um, styles. So you can also do that. But I think the most classic is basically this, a black classic flap with um, either gold or silver hardware. So there are two different color hardwares. Although some seasonal pieces, you do see other uh, finishes. So you can get like a, cr a different like two-tone chromes, you can do um, where it's sort of a colored ceramic material for the CC turn lock, but the classic ones are always silver or gold. And I've seen the rose gold come out, uh, I think twice this year. So it, ha it does come up every so often. The leather that you see here is caviar. Both of these are actually caviar. This one is in like a pastel robin eggs blue. This one is in the classic flap, but you can see that it has a bit of a sheen. The caviar on this one you can see means it's pebbled and it's sort of treated a little bit so that it's more durable. The The grain on this one's more visible than it is on this one, but that really depends from season to season. So sometimes you get a more shiny one, sometimes you get a more um, matted look. It really depends on how it's made that year. Now, you can see that this one is in like a bluish color. It's gorgeous, it's one of my favorite colors. I'm so glad that I have it. it to me, it's like, like a, a neutral, uh, color, but it's like different than your typical black or white or brown or, or gray. So this one does have hints of like gray in it, depending on the look. It's really gorgeous, but this is seasonal, which means it doesn't come by very often. With Chanel, if it is a color that you like, you should grab it because chances are you won't see it again, unless you want to pay an exorbitant amount of money on the resale market. So that covers up uh, the leather types that I have here, the colors, the cl so this is classic, this is seasonal, um, and these are both um, silver hardwares as you can see. But I also do have an antique gold hardware here which I can show you side by side. So this is the silver, this is the gold. This, this gold is not always the case. Like they have a champagne gold which isn't as bright as this, but it does come in a variety of colors as you can see. This one's also a lambskin. So even though it's they're both black, you can see the lambskin's a lot smoother and then the, the caviar, which is this one, is more pebbled and more, um, how should you say it? almost like a little bit more plasticky. This one is definitely more smooth and 
um, luxurious almost. Um, so yeah, you can definitely feel the difference. So this one, you can see it's more soft. This one's more rigid, but this one's obviously more durable. I'm not gonna go into this one. This is the mini square uh, Pearl Crush. I will do a separate review comparison of this one with the mini rectangle and also the mini reissue. So stay tuned for that one. But I just wanted to bring that in here so that you can see the difference in um, leather types. I also do have the mini reissue in the calfskin, which if you're interested in that one, it will be in the next review video. I quickly covered the leather, the hardware, and now I'm going to cover the dimensions. I just weighed these two. The small classic flap comes in at 1.1 pounds approximately, and the medium classic flap comes in at 1.3 pounds. So there's only a 0.2 pound difference between the two. I can't really tell the difference in my hand, like it's just holding it. Like if you if you blindfolded me and you gave me one, one bag in each hand, I would not be able to tell you which one is heavier. Um, so I would say they're fairly, fairly the same. In terms of size, this one, this is the small one again, and it is 5.7 inches tall, 9 inches wide, and 2.3 inches in depth. Whereas this medium size one is 6 inches tall, 9.9 .9 inches wide, and 2.5 inches deep. So if I were to show you side by side, this is what it looks like. And you can barely tell a difference. I mean, if you, yeah, like I, I would not be able to tell you the difference. Um, what was most obvious, so the depth is not very obvious because it's 2.5 versus 2.3 inches. What is more obvious is actually the, the length. So you're looking at 9.9 .9 versus nine. So it's like about an inch. I don't know if you can see, it's about an inch at the top that is shorter. And the height, I mean, it's six versus a 5.7. So it's like a point, point 0.3 inch. So you can't, I don't think you can really tell. So basically what I'm trying to tell you here is I can't really tell looking at the two side by side that one is bigger than the other. I mean, I think if I had to pick one, I would say this one's bigger, but just looking at it, I, I couldn't really tell you um, too much of a difference. So I will go into what fits into each one of these. I will first put things into this one and then I'll show you what can fit into that one. So here we are. Again, it's a double flap. This one, because it's a seasonal piece, um, it, it does come in the same color leather on the inside. It's leather lined as it is on the outside. And I'll show you the other one. It actually doesn't, um, it has different colors on the inside. So here we are. This is the inside of the bag, one big compartment, a slip compartment, and then you have two pockets over here and then one middle com like lipstick compartment there. And then this back flap, which you can put stuff, I don't really do anything. And then there's also a zipper, up, a zipper portion that goes up here, which I also don't use. So I'm not gonna put anything in there. Just to show you commonly used items, I have a pochette, mini pochette from Louis Vuitton. And in the small size, you can see it does fit in there. I also have a lipstick. I don't usually use the lipstick in the back here. I don't use that, but I suppose you could if you wanted to. Let me... So I did put it in the back right there, as you can see, but I don't usually use it. Um, also a Chanel card holder. This one is just a snap one like that. So um, it's not filled right now, but you can kind of get the idea of it. So I could put that up in front of the uh, mini pochettes. And then I think that's about it. I don't think you can put too much in that um, pocket. And my phone, which is the Pixel 5, can slip into the front right here, no problem. And then if I closed it, it'll look like that. So I would say that's pretty maxed out. And let me see, can you... But I might take out the lipstick because it's like at a really weird spot and I might actually put it off to the side right there. So you can see now the lipstick went over here and it's less bulky now. So it does look a little bit better, I think. It won't fit a sunglass case on top, but if I took out the sunglasses and just plopped it on top like that, I think it should be okay. Is it okay? Let's see. Yep, it's fine. It closes, no problem. So no big bulking, bulging. So yeah, if you did not put in the pochette, the mini pochette, for example, like if we took this thing out, 
Let's see, can I put in a full size wallet? I have the Louis Vuitton Emily wallet here. It's kind of snug, but it can fit a full size wallet. As you can see, it's a perfect fit. And then can it close? It can close. So you can see right there. If I did put in the long wallet and the card holder is in there as well. So um, that's sort of what can fit in this bag and my phone right there. So yeah, um, I do have a eyeglass case. So if you want it to put like this is a Dior one. If you wanted to put that in there, you can, but it does take up the entire thing. So this is why I always just plop my sunglasses in there or in a soft case. So that's what fits in the small size and it does fit quite a bit, I would say. And yeah, it's, it's really pretty. I love it. All right, so moving on to the medium sized one. Um, you'll see that right off the bat, the inside's also leather lined, but it's in the burgundy color because this is a classic piece. Besides that, it's it's all leather lined and everything and the chain is the same. So I just wanna show you construction is the same here. Okay, and so let's go through this again. I have the Louis Vuitton mini pochettes and of course that will fit in here no problem as you can see. And then if you wanted to put a card holder, which I have the Chanel one here, it'll also fit in there. And a lipstick, I'm just gonna plop it in there. And what did I have? My phone, which of course fits in the front pocket, lots of space, so you can see that. And then if I had sunglasses, I can also plop them on top right here. And then that will close, no problem, as you can see. This one is more spacious, so I do think that, let me see if I could rearrange some stuff. I don't know if I could put in the, yeah, I don't think with all this stuff. I mean, I could put in more lipsticks, card holder, so you can see that it does it, it does fit a little bit more, but not, not that much more. So if I took out like, let's say this card holder, can it fit a full size wallet? Um, let me take out this other card holder as well. Um, so the full size wallet with the mini pochette and the two lippies and my phone does fit in here, no problem. And does it close? It does close, so you can see that. It's getting really full, and it's also getting really heavy, but it does fit everything, and yeah. I do really like this front pocket because it allows my phone to be stored there, and then it doesn't like, rear. I don't have to rearrange anything um, in the main compartment, so that's really nice. And so yeah, I think you can fit a tad bit more in here. So for example, that same Dior case. When you put it in here, you can see that there is more space on this side, on the top. So there is a little bit more space um, in the medium size, but for everything that I wanted to take with me, I think I could fit it easily in the small and in the medium. So now moving on, as you can see, this is the chain doubled up on each shoulder. You can see they, they fall at about the same sort of length on me and I'm 5'1 for reference. And if I wanted to wear it long on the shoulder, so there we are. So this is like on the shoulder now. So you can see that the medium actually drops a little uh, shorter. So it actually sits higher on me than the small. So this is the small and you can see that it does fall a little bit uh, lower. And so if I wear it cross body, so I'm gonna show you, cross body. Um, yeah, when you, I wear a cross body, depending on, I guess, how fluffy your <laughs> jacket or cardigan is, this one actually sits very similar. I could, like, I would say that's very similar. Um, but yeah, I, for me, I could wear a cross body um, because my hip is right here. So it doesn't bother me too much. Like I could wear it like that. I can grab stuff in and out pretty easily. Um, that and same with from this side if I wanted to just grab something and I know sometimes this chain is a little too short but for me like I said I'm 5'1 uh, I can wear crossbody no problem um, but I can also wear it on the shoulder and um, that's also no problem so as you can see 
Yeah, it really depends. I think they're pretty much the same drop length. They're pretty much the same. I, I would not. I mean, there's probably a slight difference, but I, I cannot tell. So I'm just, I'm just letting you know that. Oh, and in case you were wondering what the drop length is, let me just measure it for you really quick because that's not on the website. This one drops at about 17 and a half inches. This one drops at 17. So I think there's like a half inch difference maybe between, so this one does drop a little bit less than the small. This one, it's 17, this one's 17 and a half. Next up, I'm gonna talk about the price. Like I said earlier in this video, there has been some major, major increases in price. And so the, it, it's at some crazy amounts right now. Um, I, I still think it's worth it, but let me just tell you. So the small size, which is sitting right here, if there's no special embellishment, if it's just like your, your leather, you know, uh, caviar leather or even lambskin leather, there's the same price. This one cost currently 8,200 US dollars. So that is a big chunk of money and which is why I'm wanting to do this review because I wanted to tell you pros and cons and what you can fit and how you can wear it and everything so that you'll be aware when you, if and when you get it. For the medium size, this one is the more popular size, although the small has been growing in popularity. The medium size, currently retails for 8,800 US dollars. So there is a $600 between the two, but yeah, like I just showed you, it's not that big of a difference in terms of size or weight or you know what you can fit. So really go for the one that you want because I mean, $600 is not like something I just wanted to throw away, but it's small in comparison to the 8,000 that you have to be paying. So, I mean, pick the one you want, pick the one that you'd like. And uh, sometimes uh, some colors come in a size that season, but it doesn't come in a different size. So that might also make your decision uh, different. Just to put things into perspective of how much it's been increasing, I bought this, this small last year. So in 2020, I bought this small size and I thought it was really crazy because it was $5,800, but it's now $8,200. So if I went around and sold it, I'm sure even if I sold it at retail, I, already, I would make a few thousand dollars, right? So now I'm gonna go into the pros and cons of each bag and then also to share with you which one I prefer. Uh, for the pros of this bag, which I would kind of just speak on both because I think they're very similar. Um, the pros is just the classic look. I mean, you cannot beat this look. I mean, if you like an adjustable chain, a a top handle bag, you know, leather lined, leather outside. This is this is it. It, it holds a structure because it's double flapped. Um, it really reinforces the bag. So even over time, it would not lose its shape. Um, now I have seen some people not taking care of their bags and that does cause some issue somewhere. But this one, for example, is six years old and I don't use it every day, but you can see that it looks, I mean, it has not sagged. I don't have, a organizer i don't have a bag shaper in there it kind of i mean i do stuff it when i store it but you can see that like it's in very good shape because i got it in caviar this is also very durable so i have not noticed any scratching any color transfer i have not noticed any like wear and tear um yeah it looks pretty much like the day that i got it I will also say that while that one's a dark color, you know, it's like, oh, maybe that's why. This one also doesn't have any color transfer or color wear. Um, I can tell you that this one does feel a little bit puffier than that one but, because it, it is newer. But even if, I wouldn't say that this one is like sagging. So you can see that it's still in great condition. So yeah. Very good pro. Another pro is it does hold its value. So if you ever change your mind, you can get your most of your money back, if not more than you paid for. Um, these ones have been going crazy on the secondhand market as well. So yeah, it, it is it is really great. Another pro is that these are somewhat readily available. Now, when I say that, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean you can walk into any Chanel and just get the one that you want. But there's generally a classic flap whenever I walked into Chanel that I can buy. Now, this is a big difference when it comes to like Hermes Birkins or Hermes Constance or um, Kelly's, you know, like you cannot get those. You need a good contact, you need a relationship, you need a history. This one, you don't need it. You can just go in and you get yourself a classic, very classic bag. 
<laughs> Another pro I would say is um, different ways to wear it. So it you can wear it doubled up like this, but you can also wear it with one strap. And if you're petite like me, you can also wear it crossbody. It allows you to wear it many different ways. Um, I have been able to dress this up. I've been able to dress it down so I could wear it to like a more formal event. I can wear it with jeans and a t-shirt and it'll dress up my look. You can do so many things with this bag and it'll, it'll, it will work. It will work in a lot of different styles. So very versatile, very durable, and very classic. All right, so I'm gonna go into the cons now, and the cons of this bag is clearly the price. It is their most popular style, the most classic style, so they are pricing it at the top tier, uh, at the, the highest tier of their handbag, so it is very pricey. But I can tell you that the price does come with a, a lot of quality. I know a lot of people have said there has been quality issues with the Chanel, but I have not noticed it with any of the classic flaps. I I've only, I may have heard about it, I may have seen it in like some of their seasonal bags, but with the classic flaps, it is definitely different. It is like flawless that I can see, like at least the ones that I have gotten. Maybe I just got lucky, but I know that you pay a pretty penny in comparison to some of their seasonal uh, bags, but these ones, these ones are flawless and they are crafted so well, not a stitch out of place. While they're expensive, it's a really big con. I do think you get what you pay for. Another con is it doesn't fit a ton of stuff. Now it's not meant to, so that's you know, the reason, but if you do like to bring an umbrella, if you like to bring like a scarf, or if you like to bring, I don't know, I'm trying to think what else, like a cosmetic bag, it's not gonna fit in here. So it doesn't fit a lot. You can go up to like the jumbo or the maxi, but that gets extremely heavy due to the double flap. Um, this double flap adds in an extra layer of leather, which adds the to the weight of the bag. And so a lot of the times this can get quite heavy if you are trying to fit a lot of things. So if you're somebody who wants to fit a lot more than what I showed you here, that is a big con because you cannot and when you go up in size, it would be very heavy for your shoulder. The last con that I have here is actually the fact that these bags do not have feet. Now, I don't think I would want it, even though I love feet on my bags because it protects the leather. I think it will look weird with this style, but I do fear when I put this like on the table or on a chair that it will scratch up the leather on the bottom. I haven't noticed it with these bags because I am careful where I put it, but the core Corners can get somewhere depending on how you um, handle it. So that is another con that you cannot protect the base of this bag because it does not have feet. So those are my pros and cons, and I guess now I'm gonna tell you my picks and decision. Um, if you cannot already tell, I am in love with the these style. Uh, it does fit me really well in terms of wearing it on the shoulder, short or long, and then crossbody. Not everybody can do that, but if you can, it gives you an extra way of wearing it. Now, I know it's expensive, and I'm not saying I'm gonna go and drop $8,800 on a medium flap right now, but I will say that it is worth it. Um, I think if, if it, this works for your lifestyle, meaning it could fit what you need, if you like the look, if you can wear it all these ways, I think it's definitely worth it, especially because you retain the value in the bag. So if you do happen to change your mind, you can quickly like recoup the money that you paid for. I also think this is a very classic look. It will last basically until you grow out of it or get tired of it, but it will not go out of style. Like you can always wear it if it's still your style. And another thing is it's just very durable, especially if you get in the caviar. If you get it in the caviar, it, it, it can withstand a lot of um, scratches, color transfers, even some like rain. I would not purposely wear in the rain, but I've gotten caught in it and it's fine. You just kind of wipe it off really quickly. And it does hold its shape because it's so sturdy. I love a sturdy structured bag and this is definitely it. So if that's you as well, um, yeah, I, I think this is a great purchase. Again, it is expensive, I know, I know, um, but I do think it is worth it. So if you are still looking for one and you're on the fence, I would definitely still encourage you to go try it out and, and see how you like it. I have fallen in love with it, which is why I have two sizes and, well, more than two, I, I have like mini sizes as well because I, I'm more of a mini size gal, but I can review those different mini 
uh, size shapes um, in a different video. So if you have questions about mini size bag in the comparison video, leave in the comments below as well so I could address it in my next one. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I, I would like to know if you are interested in getting a Chanel classic flap. Are you thrown away by the price? Um, will you get one in the secondhand market? I will link these on the Chanel website below in the description bar. If you're interested in the secondhand version, I'll also see if I can link any of those below. I know a lot of you have been asking me about it. So um, yeah, I, I think you can't go wrong with either the small or medium size. They're, they're very similar to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.